everyone. Welcome to another episode of Seven Questions with V. Today I talk to Bella TV host and contributing editor, Danita Chantal. Thank you for joining me today, Danita. How are you? Hey, Vanessa. I'm doing wonderful. <laughs> <laughs> so let's shoot right from the top. How did you get started in broadcasting and editorial and, and media? Um, well, I used to work in the medical field. And um, I never knew that I had started modeling and figured that an easy transition for me to kind of explore some of my natural talents and gifts and um, quench my curiosity for meeting people and things would be to transition into journalism. And uh, the company that I was working with at the time had uh, a few layoffs, got my severance package, decided to take the leap. And then I just started. Um, fully immersing myself in anything and everything that had to do with media, especially in Manhattan, like just volunteering at a ton of places because I figured I need to get an education on what the landscape is in media. Yeah. And so I, I just volunteered, I networked, I studied, I researched, and then that's why I made the transition. Amazing. What has been the, your, your, or what is your favorite and least favorite part of this job? Um, my favorite part I would say is, meeting new people, um, doing red carpets. My least favorite is the preparation behind the scenes because as you know, Vanessa, we can take hours to do research, hours to find out questions about people, to do a ton of things for like a three minute segment. And, and, nothing, prepares you before, and nothing prepares you for the actual interview. And then that conversation goes a completely different direction than you had expected. Right, right. So the research is necessary because you have to, um, have a poker face on because you don't know what's coming from the other side. You gotta go slow. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah so a hundred percent for sure. What has been the best piece of advice that you've received and worse? Because I've heard both um, doing these interviews that you've received to make it in this field. Um, the best advice I received was from um, Michelle Guy and Michelle Thornton Guy. And she told me to seize opportunities when you have them. Do not put things off. Like if you're somewhere, you see someone you want to meet, seize your opportunities when you have them. The worst advice that I have gotten was, um, hmm, I don't know. So I don't know if I, I, I have a few worst advice. Uh, no, no. Um, I think the worst advice that I have gotten was um, to go back and get a full-time job and do this on the side. Like go back and just to play it safe, I should say. That's yeah. The worst advice. Yeah, I think a lot of us got that, right? Like you'll never yeah. make, you'll never make it. Like, this is like this is a side gig. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, for yeah. sure. What would you say is the biggest misconception people have about you? Um that I'm what well, biggest misconception. I don't know, maybe you can help me with that one, Vanessa. <laughs> Don't answer. Um, I was gonna, I think, I'm like, huh. Hmm. <laughs> the biggest misconception. I think, I don't know, maybe it's more on a personal level. Like people think I have like a ton of money, okay? So they may, may see abundance or prosperity over my life. I've never seen that. But people think I'm like uber rich or stuff like that. I'm like, okay, well, you see what I don't Well, that's what you put out. Uh, so oh. that's, you know, let them, let, yeah, poker abundance and spirit and prosperity. Um, but oh, I, poker I, I, face I all the time. Right. I, I really mind. do, I think, the misconception I, I know that I had, and I can, if you don't mind me sharing, is that um, you're that you're very tough. Uh, however, I have learned about you that you are actually quite sensitive, and uh, yeah. and that's you know that's something I think that you've learned to just like your armor. You know, you put it on, and that's okay. But um, you're very very thoughtful, which probably doesn't come across for the most part in general and right, right, right. you may not know that. And, um, I, I happen to think you're very thoughtful and you're very, um, what would be the, just kind and authentic and human, you know, which may yeah. not come across off in, in, in a first impression. So I, yeah, thank you so much. That's a compliment. I, I see it. <laughs> what nugget of wisdom would you give to anyone who may be trying to make it, especially during the pan this pandemic? I think we, we've all felt um, 
we've all felt the blow, right? There's literally gigs that we had planned for and scheduled have all been put on hold. And, and we kind of, things are real, literally like still up in the air. Um, but what would you say to, you know, someone who's coming out who uh, may either have gone to school for this or is aspiring to just be in this field? What would you say to them, especially now? Um, I think the best advice that I have would be to, to learn how to pivot. You remember when we um, had like our first meeting once we were locked down in the pandemic yeah. and you were transparent and, vul and vulnerable about the direction the magazine would go and you had just inherited, well, yeah. you just purchased it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but um, I think the best advice is you have to, to pivot and figure out what's best for you to flow from within because there were tons of trends. Everybody was online doing lives, doing different things. And um, I think you have to find out what, works for you from within and then flow that way and it is a little scary and I think the best thing to do also is to connect with people um pray about things and also um be true to yourself like yeah. don't try to be something that you're not and you do a lot of that as a team <laughs> yeah no no you do a lot it, of praying it, 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 as a team uh because yeah no you do it's important I mean I look forward to that I really do it, it because means a lot, it's so. it's honestly the one thing that has kept me going um and it's also like the responsibility that i have with you guys all you know as a team um that gets me out of bed and gives me you know the motivation to keep moving because this has been you know a blow for everyone so um totally appreciate uh the acknowledgement but it's a group effort like it i i couldn't do it without all of you so yeah but we all had to pivot like as you were changing you were like okay there's some differences with the budget the advertising we just got to figure it out and like you just kept forging ahead and i was like well how is this going to happen so you know I, and try, it's all god to be honest it's been all him because i sometimes wake up and i'm like oh i still have electric on today awesome <laughs> <Great>. <laughs> yeah no it's been it's been it's been tough but at the same time, exciting to see how we all still came together, kept, you know, moving forward and chugging along. And here we are. So it's rewarding um, too. Yeah. It's all good. Good. What has been your favorite Bella feature of up to this point? Well, you know what I'm going to say, Vanessa? I don't know. <laughs> the Lala Anthony cover. Hey, did you guys read my write-up? No, I'm just kidding. Yeah. The, Lala Anthony cover, the way the team pulled together the styling um uh shooting at the hotel that by far is my favorite but um i think the second favorite that i have so far is um tabitha that cover for um november december yeah, that is, is after gorgeous after my children the hope issue definitely tabitha and choice uh for the win um i was just actually interviewing one of your colleagues beforehand and i said i had never styled in my life until we did that um, because of COVID restrictions and whatnot. Uh, with the style duo, we coordinated, you know, the fashions being sent there and whatnot. I def it's definitely not a job I want. Uh, however, the, pr the pride that I felt uh, when we got the finished images, I was just blown away. And they are just the most gracious women to work with. Um, Literally, I was like, can everybody just be like you guys? Like, can it be this easy? You know, and it was just phenomenal. So it's a thank you. Cover. It's a beautiful cover. It's literally it, because it just captures their essence. And they're just so incredibly gorgeous from the inside. And that just it just like oozes. So and what, what a better way to, what, what a better way to end the year. Yeah. You know? To celebrate, you know, this season and with a mother daughter who literally are working together to just, you know, put great things in, out into the universe. So for sure. Um, thank you. I appreciate and it's a that. reflection of Bella. Yeah. Well, 100%. She is. 100%. Last but not least, uh, I changed Bella's tagline at the beginning of the year uh, to life is Bella. What would you say that means to you? Life is Bella. It means to me um, being able to get up every morning and have gratitude and be grateful that I'm able to live on my own terms and to um, pursue my dreams. I have my health. I have my strength. Um, I have hope. I have love. So life is Bella in that way for me, you know? I don't think you need anything else. Well, if you have love in your heart and hope, I think you got everything you need right there. Thanks so much, Danita. Yeah. yeah.